You aren't right. The world tells us that on a daily basis. Whether it be too tall, too short, too fat, too thin, too big of a nose, too stumpy of fingers, whatever, it's just not right. But who defined what we are all supposed to look like in the first place? And better yet, who decided we should all fit into one look, size, or composition? As young women, we are bombarded with images and messages from the media telling us that we are not good enough. And even if we're able to ignore those outlets, friends, peers, and parents that are telling us the same things surround us. With a constant flow of discouraging messages coming our way each day, it is our job as women to support and send positive encouragement to each other instead. As I got ready for the day, I walked over to my closet and pulled out my favorite black and gray cheetah skirt. As I went to put it on, the zipper wouldn't zip all the way up. My favorite skirt that had fit only a few weeks ago is now too small. Feeling a little bit hurt, I look up only to see my inspirational message on my mirror saying, you have the best legs, go show them off. Getting back my confidence, I put on a pair of my favorite shorts and walked out the door showing off my legs more confident than ever. I believe that life is simply too short. So don't sweat the small stuff. Embrace everyone for who they are. Overlook the flaws and seek out the greatness in every person. Finding the best within others will lead you to find the best within yourself. I wrote these words in my journal one late night. You must be happy with who you are. So discover what makes you happy and live by it. It seems to be in fashion lately that if you are a girl, you must hate yourself. It's important to reject this notion by surrounding yourself with positive people and realizing that you must respect yourself before anyone else can truly respect you. When I start to feel bad about myself because of the pressure society puts on me to fit a certain image, I know I can always rely on my friends to support me and remind me that, Victoria's Secret model or not, I'm pretty awesome. They wake me up from the trance society's ridiculous standards have put me in and remind me that the world is a wonderful place and I deserve to enjoy it. Because I have blonde hair, I am often stereotyped as a dumb blonde. People think I am easygoing and not intelligent. This silly joke has been an issue for me with boys and in school environments. The not all blondes are alike, as just no two humans are the same. Just because I look a certain way doesn't mean I am that way. This stereotyping has helped me understand you have to look beyond a person's appearance and put yourself in their shoes to try to understand where they're coming from. We're all beautiful in our differences. Let's embrace them. When I feel best about myself, I am dressed up for a night out on the town with my girlfriends. Some people love their sweats and Uggs, but for me, there's nothing better than an LBD, or a little black dress. Anything with a little sparkle, of course. Fashion can be an outlet for expression for anyone. What you feel beautiful in is best for you. Whenever I am feeling down about myself, my sister is always there to pick me back up. When I feel left out or ostracized at a party, she'll come get me and take me anywhere I want. When my friends are mean to me, she buys me little gifts. When I feel ugly, she dyes my hair or takes me shopping. When I've had a stressful week at school, she leaves me little notes with positive messages on them. When I feel lonely, she takes me out to lunch. Even when I feel so low, I don't want to do anything. She can get me to laugh and makes me feel like I am on top of the world. It's not about a specific moment with my sister, but rather the little things that make me know I am loved. How are we supposed to feel good about ourselves when everyone and everything tells us to feel bad? If you feel bad about yourself, it has negative effects. And on the other hand, if you feel good about yourself, you're just full of yourself. Now that doesn't really seem fair. I remember getting dressed for my senior prom with a friend and she looked beautiful and I knew she was feeling pretty good, but she'd never say so. We walked into the house where we were taking pictures and I said to her, gosh, you look so pretty. And she replied, oh, no I don't, but thanks I guess. Now what kind of a response is that? Are you implying that I'm lying? I looked her in the eyes and said, learn to take a compliment. If I said it, I meant it, and you should feel pretty because you not only look pretty, but you love yourself and feel secure. If we all simply learned to take a compliment and believe it, we'd be a whole lot better off. So compliment yourself. Before you go to bed at night, 
Tell yourself three things that you love about your body, your mind, and your life. Set realistic goals that are truly attainable so that when you reach them, you feel amazing. Beauty is not the latest trend, newest hairstyle, or perfect body. It is a deep knowledge that you love yourself. Find out what you love about yourself and put it out there for the world to see. Let's create our own messages and images to drown out the voices that tell us we're not good enough. Let's leave notes for ourselves and others to show what beauty really looks like. It looks like this. <laughs>